Here's the plan. Got this seat off my four-wheeler, and it hurts when you sit on it. I know what you're thinking, buy another seat. I am, but until then, I want to try something since this one's going in the garbage. It works on my uh, truck seat anyway. Let me show you that. This is an 87 Ford Ranger, and this side of the seat was totally caved in. This seat is out of a Mazda pickup truck. So, but I bought it out of a junkyard. And over the years, I just this is my farm truck. This thing has slapped totally caved in. So I uh, went in all the seams and filled it up with uh, the great stuff. And it swells up to about that high. I mean, it blows that joker up in the air. But then as you sit on it, it goes back down to normal. It's most, not the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's not all uh, nasty either. So I'm going to try that with the other seat. I got my stuff. So what I'm going to do is gently spray it on there. And then after it builds up, then I'll come back and... Um, Hang on, I got the wrong can. Okay, I got it. The only problem is my tube broke. So hopefully that's not a problem. Because I don't need much. It's going to swell up so big. And then I will come back and try to do my little trick on it. It's like putting a whipped cream on stuff. And I'm only going to do that so that will hold that down. It's actually better without the tube. Okay, that's good enough, except for right here. So we'll come back and check it later. It's been about five minutes. It's not sticky anymore. It's soft, but it's not sticky. It's nice and luxurious. About 10 more minutes. It'll take it a while to fully cure before you can actually cut it. And we're just going to try to simply cut it and smooth it off a little bit. Then I got another step. Now, this is all just a, a little theory here. Hopefully, it'll work. Either way, it'll feel better than having all this stuff poke you. Just wait to see if it works. Okay, it's been about. 45 minutes or so. It takes about eight hours for this stuff to cure, but it's better to go ahead and cut it now until it fully cures because it gets kind of crunchy and it leaves little balls all in it. So we'll see if it works. So you need a knife that you found in the creek, and you just need to go along and gently cut the little extras off. This is not a real sharp knife, so if I miss, I don't cut up my uh, fancy pants seat. I don't know if it's going to work either. Oh, you're much better already. That part will smash down eventually. Maybe. This is an incredible life hack, isn't it? When I was in school, we called them tricks. I'm telling you, if you wait 
full eight hours for this to cure, it will, uh, the whole thing will be pretty funky. like a seat again. You got all this extra stuff up here. I may just uh, silicone that down or something, but I'm not done. I got another trick. Hack. Since I don't want the whole seat coated in that, <laughs> I wrap that up in plastic. Make sure it works works. So I'm going to fold that up and that up. And it may not stay down, but it may. If it doesn't, I don't care. Okay, that's for now. Now I got a plan. So what you need to do is go to an estate sale and get you a box of 1972 multicolored topped pens. Now don't stick the black ones in there. You won't be able to find them. And you stick it in. You gotta make a grunting sound as you do it. And you stick it in. You gotta make the grunting sound as you do it and you stick them in. I've just thought about something though. Then you have to come back, of course, and pull them out. This is coming along quite nicely if I do say so more personal. Once, hopefully it'll stick down and if it does then I'll come back and spray more coats of that dude's face on here oops my lid broke on my fancy little box See, I'm trying to get all the edges pushed in so the next individual that throws their person over this thing won't get stuck with all these little things. The little corners. Because the goal is to sit on it without getting a little scratches on your legs, that's already hardened up. Okay, I may stop there. Now to do this correctly, you will need an old black trash can, a brown trash bag, a torn up four-wheeler seat, or any seat. You'll need a barn with a couple of things hanging on the side, a little mica rock, and something else you pulled out of a creek, and then you'll need to put it all together to do this. You'll probably need a camera too. If it actually sets up nice on the seat, I may go ahead and do the whole seat, but I'm not sure yet. Now I have a couple little voids in here, but I don't care about that because I'm going to flex all the daylights out of this monkey once it's uh, all dried on the first round. So hang around for about an hour. Yeah, maybe an hour and then we'll come back. Okay, I just came back for another series of coats on. Ignore the comment about colored pens, tops. Because you got to take them out. They're going to get black anyway. And I went ahead and sprayed over one dot right there. And since this is a seat that was probably going to go in the garbage, I went ahead and sprayed a lot of it. I can buy this seat brand new complete for about $99. But, why spend $99? When you got a bunch of... There you go. 
Right, it's probably been an hour and a half, two hours maybe. It's drying nicely. As smooth as this flex seal did right here, I may go ahead and do the whole seat. And I did cover one hole. I'm going to have to cover that one. I've already scrubbed this seat with the bleach and everything. This is not totally dry down inside, but it's getting there. So now I'm going to paint the whole thing with a flex seal. The can says, depending on humidity, allow between allow 24 hours for it to cure, to dry. Between each coat. But it's rather toasty out here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a couple right now and then move along. You want to do this when it's really windy. That way you really get to enjoy the smell. There it is. If you're just joining us, start over. I started the video a little while ago. Okay, we'll stop there for a while. Come back and look at it. Okay, there it is final coats. It will dry hopefully flat, although it really doesn't matter. But it's done. And I'll show it to you once it's totally dry. It's kind of smooth now. A couple of minutes later. It's kind of self-leveling. That's not the prettiest thing in the world. <laughs> I just had to try it. Another couple of little tidbits. Everything looked good and everything dried, so I went back and added regular uh, paintable silicone or caulking, whatever you want to call it, from a tube to the big crack, too. And I simply drove a, uh, a crack leveler over it, like that. Then, when it's all dry, then you can go back and spray a little more of the black on there. Then it'll look a lot better. It's coming along though, isn't it? I like it. One thing I forgot to point out. There is a little lip in a couple of places. So you can just sit a couple of big sockets on them. And it will hold them down. Just so it kind of glues in place or dries in place. Which isn't a big deal. A reminder, this is my first attempt at doing this. Okay, one more tip. Since it's going to take about a year for all that to dry, you can bounce a little hair jar on it. <laughs> See if that works. A little, uh, <laughs> a little, uh, what is it called? A little timeout intermission. Yeah, this is, uh, on some, the seat. This is something for you that came from, uh, Martin. Let me but he didn't want you to get it, so I picked it up at the, at the post office. Okay. I know what's in it. So. You know what's in it? Yeah, so here Okay, we're going to swap positions here. It's raining. It is raining. I don't want it all up in my face. I don't like being on camera. Can y'all see me? <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be something that embarrasses me? I don't think so. From all the people on the tube? <laughs> <laughs> You know what it is yet? No, I don't know what it is. Why is it all red? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. That's hilarious. <laughs> this guy's got issues. He is slap blowing my inheritance. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. You know what's awesome about this? Yes. We've got a house full of girls tonight. Yes, there's going to be six of them. <laughs> and I, I told him, I said, 
I said, you might want to go ahead and open this tonight because when the girls get here, <laughs> freak you show. can use it. <laughs> <laughs> so we got to scare some girls tonight. Okay. Now look. Okay, I'm not. That's my new hat. Okay, we're right there. <laughs> I can't give a melon in here. <laughs> Can I fix your hair? Oh my gosh. How's my hair? That's Pennywise. Is it? Uh huh. That's Pennywise. Where's the mouth? Right there? Yeah, right there. Here, one second. Let me do something. I think you're, you get your cheek. There we go. Is it good? We're gonna let the girls braid your hair tonight. <laughs> you can wear it with you when you go in the creek and see if anybody stops. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Is it freaky? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so freaky. <laughs> that's hilarious, isn't it? I told you you might want to use it tonight. God, that is the one in it off the thing. That's from the 80s version. That That's awesome. scary. That joke right there gets you shot. <laughs> Creeps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Martin, you got... <laughs> I got issues. But you got them too. That's a song. I wrote it just for you. Actually, it, it, it's a song on the radio. It's a song the kids like. We're at the end of our... Uh, <laughs> that is great, isn't it? Let me show you something else real quick. <laughs> That's where we lay out in the rain. We're at the end of the, the harvest. After five million cucumbers, I decided to let the last ones go to full growth mode. Look at that Mohican right there. You could put that in your truck and defend yourself. Yeah, they look like squash. There's a couple of monster ones down here. Martin, thanks a lot. <laughs> that is great. And I'm back to what we were working on. It's coming out nice, isn't it? It's drying up real nice. That's already nice and dry and kind of smooth. Coming along. Okay, the uh, paintable caulking has dried. I poked little tiny holes in it and set up a hair dryer on it to give it get it done quicker. So everything's ready. So now I'm ready for the final coat. I hope this is black. Here, let me test it. Coming out black, coming out black. My bride. Okay, you ready? You're supposed to let one coat dry and then come back. I realize that. But since this is not a big deal to me, this will seal the little holes. I'm going to put another coat on the seat while we're playing. Spray the seat. Dun, dun, dun. Spray over the bird mess. I'm trying to watch it. I think that's good. We got a couple little white dots in here. Now you can spray enough that it'll slap fill up the holes, which is what I'm about to do now. And it'll kind of self level, which is kind of neat. As long as you put it back level in its right spot. There, in my opinion, the seat is done. I might come back and put one more to seal the holes one more time. But it's not that big a deal to my person. I missed that one. <laughs> I love this stuff. I'm gonna paint my whole truck with it. So now I'm gonna go put the whole thing back under my hair dryer in my building since it is raining forever and ever and ever. And we'll do one more look at it when it's all done. 
Alright, let me figure out how to turn this uh, hair dryer off. That'd be a trick. Check it out. It came out nice, didn't it? Oh yeah, let's go put it on there. I branded it. It's done, look. I think it came out fine. <laughs> like I say, I guess I could have went and bought one, but why do that? There's that big gash that was in the seat. It is gone. There you go. So I used a can of uh, great stuff, which was about $12.88 stuff. Not great stuff. Or 88 stuff. Anyway, you saw what I used. I like it. Even the seat, I sprayed the whole thing and all the faded spots are gone. So it looks cool. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. Hopefully this helps you do something you want to do. If not, then put a thumbs down and don't subscribe. Have a Merry Christmas. She's jamming. She's jamming. She's backwards jamming. Backwards jamming. Look at that. It doesn't hurt your feet anymore or your legs or your thighs or your head, shoulders, knees, and toes.